Oh my god. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this one is more CNC progress, testing the first toolpath. So let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Okay, first of all, it is super hot and it's kind of hard for me to think straight. It's really ridiculous. But hey, that's where we left off yesterday. It is homed. I'm now able to set a home point well to run the homing procedure. And the next logical step is to try a toolpath. I would love to plot something. Maybe I actually achieve it. But yeah, let's see. So what I have here is a free cam program. This is what is this even called? Visual CAD Cam 2018. That's what I'm using. I just set cutting directions i set up a tool i think i have no idea about that uh, cutting speeds i no idea about that as well machining opera you know, i have no idea about that i just you know i came up with this part this is 0.1 millimeter it's super slim it's like a 2d object i guess and that's the resulting g code this program generated this g code so let's take a look speed of 500 let's actually go for 50 okay so the feed rates are fairly slow so that's good i guess let's try what can possibly go wrong oh focus hello focus thanks i mean it's like it didn't miss anything but i don't need the vfd for this experiment so first of all i need to run the home cycle this won't take long since it's well since this is the home position now i need to find this g code test Oh yeah, there, there it is. What can possibly go wrong, I guess? Wait, what? Okay, error M6T0. What? Unsupported command. The hell? I had no luck whatsoever researching this stuff, so let's just delete it. M what? Caution. What? What's the freaking alarm to again? What the hell? Never mind, actually. Look at this M4 and now look at the spindle. Spindle will go to counterclockwise and M3 clockwise. So that's actually working. Just powered up the VFD. Let's try that. M3 S50. Yeah, it's working. So what's the freaking problem? I have actually no idea why it's not working, but I think it's actually a good thing because if you look at that, this is all positive or most of it. So it would have crashed my switch. Definitely. <laughs> is M is this actually for the tool length or something? What is M60? This is weird. Okay, well, so it is around three, maybe four hours later, and after a lot of research, I came to the conclusion that I'm still missing a lot of basics. Focus. God damn it, what is wrong? There are only so many supported G codes that you can do with GRBL. I didn't know about that. Now I do. So all these M and stuff, it's not supported. So yeah. And I'm currently learning about work offsets and then i will probably write a g-code manually all of this g-code stuff work plain offsets it's crazy so i figured why not take a step back and just do it manually at first so i think i will just have to jog to my work offset and then reset well then zero everything and i just taped a piece of paper to my surface right here what the hell is that and i mounted a Ball pen. Yes, I'm actually I'm actually plotting a line. It is this is crazy. Oh my god. So now look at this. This is my first manual G code. This is my work offset. Aka this position right here. Then I zeroed everything and now I will run this code. It's just go down then draw a line go up god damn focus i can't believe this move to somewhere else go down and draw something else okay and i guess it would be wise to go to zero again or i don't know so there we go let's go back to zero basically so let's just go for it oh yeah and before we start it will tell the system to use metric and absolute programming so what can possibly go wrong 
Oh, never mind, never freaking mind. Um, I forgot the feed rate, so that's genius. Okay, so now with the feed rates, let's go. Wait a sec, what, what the hell happened to the second, to the sweat? Okay, so yeah, now. Oh, oh, wait a sec, oh my god, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? These, these are the exact coordinates. I'm such a genius. And one more time. <laughs> Let's go. I just plotted two lines. This is awesome. So I just slightly modified the code. Let's see what it will do. Yep, that was correct. Oh, that was a fail right there. I guess should be cheesy. Oh my god. <laughs> that was another fail. So that was, I wanted to cross a well-produced axis, I guess. But yeah, well. This is so funny. Literally the same mistake as before. The coordinates were just the same. So let's see what we will get now. Sweet! Not too bad, not too bad. Well, this program is called GWizard, G Code Editor, and it's also a simulation. So you can basically type your G Code and it will show you what it will do. Here we go with my first a G2. Let's watch this. This is gonna be sweet. And I did this in this G-Code simulator, G-Code editor, this is awesome. Let's actually run this program again. What? Alarm? What happened? Oh, oh yeah, of course. I did activate the soft, li well, the hard limits again. So let me just turn them off. I will only use them for homing. And then I'm just, I just won't have hard limits whatsoever. Who cares? Let's just hope for the best, I guess. But well, it's... It's done anyways. Let's just set it back to zero. This is crazy. It's exactly the same thing, even though this <laughs> thing is wobbly as hell. I can't believe it. Now the only thing that's left for me to figure out for this vlog is how to import some sort of a picture. Okay, so we are hours into this project. I'm so brain dead already, so this is my do it for the vlog merge design and i found a program that lets you convert dxf files to g code but it's still a freaking mess and i just well sorted through 600 something lines of g code and i just now simulated it and it's it's it's, it's almost what i want almost <laughs> without further ado i have no idea what will happen i don't care any longer um what and this is way too like why is it this is nope nope <laughs> just cleaned everything again this time i was way faster actually and i think I think this might actually work. Let me just switch up the home point. Just a bit, this looks good, I guess. Let's zero it, and now let's refresh the program, and now let's go. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, it just won't focus, like...
Oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad though. Oh my god. No, what happened? Come on, what the hell happened? We're almost there. Oh my god, come on. Invalid target. I thought it's fine. What? There are no errors though. This is so stupid. I can't continue this program now. Yeah, that's weird, like, but who cares? I'm f almost there. It's kind of ridiculous with my setup. But I mean, hey, this is what you call progress right here. Hell yeah. Well, there we go. Another full day spent on my CNC project just to a 2D plot, it's insane. But I think it, I actually made good progress. So next up might actually be real material, like wood or something like that. Maybe even leveling the build plate. So I'm hella looking forward to that, doing something useful with this thing. So looking forward to that. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I smash a tiny painting on a piece of paper. Ah, bang that bell like crap, crap, to never miss CNC updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>